Hi there, Adam Ring here with another edition of Innovative Automation's Cool Gadgets. This week we're going to talk about WAGO and their cage clamp terminal blocks. So let's take a closer look at what a cage clamp terminal block is. This is the guts of a terminal block. And you'll notice here we've got a stainless steel spring, which is really the heart of how this whole thing works. What it does is it actually puts a constant force on a wire as you insert it into a terminal block. That wire can be a stranded copper wire, it can be solid, it can, be, uh, can have a ferrule on the end of it. And it doesn't really matter, we can use mixed, mixed different types or they can all be the same. And so what it does is, the bigger the wire, the more force it puts on the wire to hold it into the terminal. But it doesn't put so much force that it causes damage to the wire. So we can insert it and take it out and reinsert it without causing any damage into the wire. Now another thing about this is that it creates a gas tight connection. And the way we do this is we've got a copper bus bar and that is coated with a tin surface. A tin is very soft and so what happens is the force of the spring actually pushes the copper wire into that tin, causes a gas tight connection, so now over time there's not going to be any kind of corrosion that would cause our connection to get bad. And as you'll see here, we've actually got a very large conductor on the same terminal as a smaller conductor. So now let's take a look at exactly what it takes to, to actually terminate a wire into a terminal block. So let's take a simple 18 gauge wire and our handy stripping tool and just a standard flat blade, blade screwdriver is all you need. So it's a three step process. We simply insert our screwdriver, drop the wire into the hole, and now we remove our screwdriver, voila! we have a connection, a good connection every time. Now the neat thing about this is the wire is actually at its loosest connection at the very instant you put it in the terminal. Over time as those wires splay out, that spring from the cage clamp actually gets tighter and tighter and so with vibration or temperature cycling the wire is only going to get tighter in the terminal. If you think about a screw type connection, the tightest that wire ever is is at the moment you tighten that down initially. So then from then on out, as it vibrates or it gets hot and cold, it's only going to back out and get looser to where over time you have to send a maintenance person in to tighten up all your connections to make sure you don't have any unwanted failures. So if we take a look at this here, very easy, very much of a time savings. We found that actually there's about a 75% reduction in the time required to terminate wires using the cage clamp versus the standard screw. Something else I'd like to point out is our screwless end stops. Very handy for keeping all the terminal blocks on a piece of DIN rail without sliding around. It's just a single piece here. There's no screws you have to screw down. You just simply snap it onto the DIN rail and it keeps everything from sliding around. Pretty nice little accessory. So now let's take a look at some of the other options we have available with the Wago cage clamp system. As you can see here, it's just a sample group of terminals. We have different colors available. So if you would like to group terminals based on a different color so you know different voltages and so forth, we've got those available. We also have fuse holder terminal blocks that allows you to very easily disconnect your circuit, kick out your fuse, replace your fuse, and get it back in and going. Some of these we even have with a blown fuse indicator, so that'll light up if your fuse blows to let you know. And then we have what we call adjacent jumpers. It's a single piece design that allows you to connect multiple terminal blocks together with the same electrical potential. A lot easier than some of the uh, other designs I've seen out there where you have two different screws plus a bar that goes in between them and you have to screw all that down. And then if you decide you want to remove one terminal from a chain, you've got to take the whole thing apart and redo it. So this is real simple. It's just one piece. You push it in and you're done. Addition to standard terminal blocks that mount onto a piece of DIN rail, we also have connectors that mount onto a PC board. Again, we're using the same cage clamp design and we can design this right into a PC board or you can use it in your own design for a PC board. And we've got pluggable connectors as well as terminals that you just operate with a screwdriver just like we do the other type. So as we've seen here, WAGO has a lot of really neat innovations with their cage clamp design. They were the, actually the innovator of that cage clamp design 
and they've come out with several different revisions and new updates, very, very many different variations on it. So hopefully one of those will help you in your applications and make your life a little easier. So that's it for this week's edition of Innovative Automation's Cool Gadget. Safe. And then you zoom in as I start talking. I'm going to be holding it right here and flipping mm -hmm. it around. Right over that little white dot or over some fixed yeah, place. Right yeah. There. Okay. Eight. Okay. Time to move on three. <laughs> so then, so in summary, Wago is basically the originator of the cage clamp. They've been copied and duplicated, but no one's ever quite kept up with them. The designs keep changing, getting better and better, and they're really, really cool stuff.